Hey guys, it's Dima from Dimos Tech and today we are going to use the rubber ducky with a new mouse cursor prank, like this. So as always I'm using PowerShell to do that and this attack will do, well, I don't want to call it an attack, but basically we are attacking the mouse, or at least the cursor of a mouse. Now, if you'll actually unplug the mouse or plug a new mouse or, I don't know, plug a mouse into another port, it won't help you. Now, that prank is just annoying, but, you know, it might annoy you that much that you'll just uh, get crazy and throw your computer away or something. You know, there are crazy people. Anyway, uh, in the end, what we are going to run is this whole script. As you can see, it's just 12 lines, but we're going to make it one line. So basically, we're going to remove all the spaces or the new lines, etc. It won't fit into the run command. So basically, we will not be able to paste the whole script here. So we will have to open a PowerShell window and only then enter all of it. So basically, we don't really need to make it only a one line. We can enter it as is, but we'll do it in one line just in case. So, let me just show you quickly what the script will do. Uh, we're going to launch PowerShell, that's basically exactly what we're going to do in Forever Ducky. And after that, we're going to use a while, true, which means it will run forever. And if you'll recognize, we did use it in the eject CD-ROM prank, a get random number and then sleep in the random number. So basically this is going from 10 seconds to 230, which is 4 minutes. Uh, so every, at maximum 4 minutes, this will run. Now what will it do? Basically, uh, we do need to add type of uh, Windows Forms, of system Windows Forms, that basically allows us to control the mouse. And then we run basically a 4H uh, from 1 to 9999. That depends what you want, you can make every, let's call it, every single attack longer or shorter, as ever you want. Uh, that one, I did play with it and I think this is the best. Basically, that one is your resolution. So basically, now those parameters, X and Y, are basically the X and Y of your screen resolution. So you can change it according to your screen resolution. Uh, I think that will fit the best for a full HD screen. Uh, I don't want to go it all around the edges. I just want it to be, you know, more in the center a little bit. You can play around with that as much as you want. That doesn't really matter. Uh, and then basically it will put each time in a random position your mouse cursor with that command. So basically let's go ahead and just run that small for each in our PowerShell window. I'm not really sure if my screen recording will actually be able to show it. If not, I'll add a post-edit recording of that thing, but keep in mind that the mouse should jump around all the way, like this. I hope you've seen it, basically it dropped my mouse somewhere else and not where it was, and it got crazy, just, you know, uh, popping everywhere around. Uh, that's basically what our script will do today, but it will be hidden and it will do it every from 10 seconds to 240 seconds all the way, all the time. So that's really annoying unless you know how to disable it. Now, uh, in order to make it only a one line, basically we need to remove all the spaces on all the new lines. So that's pretty much easy, but there is a small but that I want to note. Uh, I cannot, for example, remove here the new line, so I do need to add here a semicolon, I think that's the way they call it, semicolon, right? Hopefully I'm right. If I'm wrong, please tell me the correct name of that character in the comments. Anyway, we need to do it pretty much everywhere that uh, there is a new command. So basically, uh, for example, here we do need it, but for example, if we'll uh, do here, we don't really need it, so that's basically just uh, the continuum of the for each, so we don't really need it here. Uh, same will go here, we don't really need it. 
Here we will need it actually, so let's add it here. And same will be here. And basically that's our finish. Think, yeah, there's another closure. And that's it, we have a one-liner. Now, that's not the end. We still need to actually run it as a PowerShell command in a hidden style window. So, what we need to do is basically add PowerShell at the beginning. Minus window style. Hidden. Or we can just use H. And minus C for the command. And one tag and another tag in the end. That should be enough. And if I'm not mistaken, we can actually remove Windows style and just hit W. Uh, so basically, this will run a new partial window with hidden Windows style. So basically, it will be hidden with the following command. Everything which is in tech. So that will pretty much make it hidden and everything. Now, the only thing that we are left to do is basically move it into our rubber ducky commands. So let's move to our rubber ducky commands, just in case that you are still not sure what to do there. So as you can see, it's pretty simple. We do, as always, a delay of one second until rubber ducky is initialized and running on your Windows machine. Then it runs GUI R, which is our run command, this one. Then another small delay till it will open, just in case you know. And string PowerShell and enter. That will simply do, basically, open run, enter PowerShell and enter, which will open PowerShell. And after another small delay that will allow our PowerShell to initialize, we'll enter the following string, which basically is the command that we've just written, and then hit enter. That's it. The PowerShell that you see here will disappear. It will be at two processes in the background, basically this one that I'm not really sure how to exit, obviously, and the other PowerShell that will actually run the other command, the hidden command. So now we are only left to encode the rubber ducky script. So let's go ahead and copy that. Now we're going to the ducktoolkit.com. So basically that's an online encoder and decoder. And you can actually find other payloads, you know, uh, generate payloads and other cool stuff you can learn here from other comments. Uh, there are more scripts, user scripts, etc. So you can actually uh, do much cooler stuff here. But we're obviously going to use now only the encoder, so we are going here. Basically, we are pasting all our commands here. We could actually write it, the whole script here. Uh, you don't need to change the uh, language unless you did some changes to your uh, rubber ducky. In my case, it's on default, so there's no need. You hit generate, it will ask you basically the following. Without... So basically, uh, you are not allowed to use it to harm anyone and obviously we're not harming anyone just a prank obviously you should monitor your pranked person because you don't want them to throw away their mouse or whole computer for such a prank anyway click ok and that's it we have the inject bin and actually the original commands as well so basically you just click on inject.bin and that's it, you just save it on your rubber ducky SD card or wherever you want, in case it's, I don't know, you want to temporarily save it somewhere else. Uh, obviously you need to write your inject.bin and that's pretty much it. After you saved it, you can go ahead and test your prank. So let me give you an example of what basically our script will do. Now basically I just chose a very dark wallpaper and just did a full screen on that. I hope you can see the mouse, so this is the mouse pointer. This is the biggest I could find, hopefully it will be good enough. Now, uh, let's go ahead and unplug our, uh, basically, SD card. So let's grab it here. Let's grab our rubber ducky and put it in our rubber ducky. That's it. And basically we are ready. Now, keep in mind, I did change the seconds, so basically it should run now from 1 second to 10 seconds, uh, which will allow us to demonstrate the whole process really faster. So let's go ahead and plug it in, and hopefully everything will work fine, even in the full screen. So 
So let's see if something will happen in about 10 seconds or less. And here we go! <laughs> okay, that was kind of funny. And uh, yeah, that's it. Our mouse cursor will move now all the way, all the time, every about few seconds. Unless I didn't change it correctly, which I think I didn't. Because it took me a while to get it working for some reason. Which I didn't cut on the video, but that's fine in just a second. Nothing else. Guys, before I finish this video, I have a few things to mention. First, YouTube has demonetized our channel for now. And the reason for that is that we don't have enough subscribers. So in order to get monetized on YouTube and receive money, etc., which I did for a while, you do need from now on to have at least 1000 subscribers and 4000 hours of watch time for the last 12 months, which we do have. So we do lack of about 140 subscribers or so. So if you're not subscribed yet, or if you know anyone that is interested in tech, security and everything what I do here on this channel, please let them know and ask them to subscribe as well, so they will be able to follow us and also help us to grow as well. Another thing before I go is Instagram. If you want, you can follow me now on Instagram. Yes, I did fall to that as well. Basically, I don't use it for the channel specifically. I just take some photos and share them there, uh, including Facebook and other platforms. Uh, so I do tend to share some cool pictures around, uh, just views, landscape. Uh, if I travel, I try to post more as well. Nothing specific to the channel or any tech-related stuff. But I'll try also to post some notifications about new videos on the channel on Instagram. So keep in mind that you can follow me uh, on Instagram as well if you'd like. And now we can finally finish this video. Thank you for watching this Demostech episode. If you enjoyed this video, click the subscribe button and hit the bell so you won't miss any future video. And I'll see you on the next one.